Now at 5.30, wow, it is the wild pursuit that everyone is talking about. A woman is under arrest following the police chase of a stolen utility truck through three counties. The driver slammed into police cars, went through a fence, ended up on the wrong side of the 91 freeway before finally entering a Denny's restaurant. This really had it all. That's right. KTLA's Shelby Nelson joins us live in Corona with more on the wild pursuit and what we are learning about the suspect. Shelby. Sheriff Pedro, as you said, very wild scenes out here in Corona. We're in the area where that suspect was seen ramming those patrol vehicles before she barreled on through those trees that you're seeing right behind us. They're still pretty disheveled. And then you're also seeing a partial chain link fence. That's because she also barreled through that, dragging it along with her before getting onto the 91 freeway against traffic. Oh, they're going to ram him right there. They're going to ram him again. A wild police pursuit that people across Southern California watched in disbelief. People like Mike Jarvis. When I saw it, I said, oh, my God, I hope that, you know, it stops right there. We get a lot of activity around here because we're so close to the freeway. Viewers glued to their screens as the suspect led authorities on a dangerous chase through multiple counties. He's backing up into those officers. At around 8-11 Monday night, officers with La Habra police were responding to reports of a stolen vehicle at Imperial Highway and Idaho Street in La Habra. Police located the suspect who they say rammed an officer's vehicle before taking off. Sky 5 capturing the stolen utility truck making its way through Orange, San Bernardino and Riverside counties. Back up and oh they're going to ram him right there. They're going to ram him again. That big heavy truck they're going to try to block him in three ways and that's going to bring it to an end here off of Maple in the 91. Guns drawn. The driver pushing his way through. I saw the cypress trees. That's the first tip that I thought it might have been our building. Mike Jarvis is the manager at Lakeview Professional Services in Corona. He wasn't working at the time, but he was watching the pursuit when he realized the driver, now identified as 26-year-old Nikweza Green, was barreling through the trees and chain link fence right in front of his office. This is the damage left over, disheveled trees and a chain link fence now gone. But the pursuit didn't end there. Right through another fence, right down onto the freeway, wrong way. Miraculously, no other drivers were hurt after she drives onto the 91 freeway westbound towards oncoming traffic. She then gets out of the car, dodging vehicles on the freeway, losing parts of her outfit and her wig before entering this Denny's. She ran in. I was taking an order with one person at the table. There was only one guy in the restaurant. And she ran in, flashed the gun, and then ran out to the back because the cops came in right away after. Police deploying a canine before the suspect was eventually wheeled out on a gurney and taken into custody. Again, police say that suspect was on parole for burglary. They couldn't say where or when that incident happened. In the meantime, she was arrested last night for assault with a deadly weapon, for felony and evading, and for possession of stolen property. Reporting live in Corona, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. Shelby, thank you.